Hey everyone, welcome to another video and thank you for tuning in. As always, there's a ton of news and new things happening, so let's get to it. Oh, before I get started, on a personal note, just wanted to let you know that still don't have my umbrella from Tesla, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll leave a link in the description. And also, if you're interested in the pedestrian warning system and having that installed, I'm going to do that next week, so stay tuned for that. All right, let's get started with the news. All right, first up is the Ford F-150. It's going to debut tonight, I believe 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you can't wait to uh, see it or at least get a peek of it, just look at the uh, presidential um, speech given at the Ford plant and you can see it hiding just behind him. So it's the one with the headlights on, so I'm sure it was intentional. But the good news is I guess it looks pretty much like all the other Ford F-150s, but really I'm interested in the specs and I'm sure you are too. So this is going to be a good day for Ford fans and probably truck fans. Moving on to Mercedes-Benz. You know, so the latest one is uh, the van, their minivan, the EQT. Now, I'm kind of a fan. No, you know what the truth is? I'm a fan of fans. I, I like them. I like the utility. I think they're very cool. But this one, they're using Tony Hawk. And apparently their idea is to have an electric skateboard that goes with it and charges in the rear. It's pretty cool and that's their tagline through the whole thing is that it's pretty cool that Tony Hawk's pretty cool But take a look at that. That's pretty well done and uh, Yeah, it looks great. So another vehicle that I'm really Excited about even though it's still a ways out is uh, the canoe. I guess our lifestyle vehicle is going to be available for people to purchase they're taking deposits now this vehicle won't be out till probably i would say late 2022 maybe you know as production stuff goes maybe into 2023 but their original idea was that they were going to use them as commercial lease vehicles and no one was going to own them but now it looks like they're gonna be catering to actual customers and regular folks like you and me and that we could purchase these vehicles for our own use and not only that but the prices are starting to look like they may be affordable they're targeting a price of 35,000 to start up to 50,000 I believe is the range depending on the trim level that you get you know that's before any kind of EV incentives or anything like that but their vehicles are so modular and look so cool to me that I don't know if they come out at right in there at 35 to 40,000 I think it'd be it could be a pretty popular vehicle but I'm excited about it and I hope they make it to market. But like all electric vehicle uh, startups and everything, it's hard to say, especially this early in the game, if they're gonna make it. But fingers crossed, because again, it's nice to see different ideas and different concepts out there. You know, like I showed in previous videos, Aptera, that's, uh, they're still working and they're still doing good. Hopefully they come to market as well, you know. But anyway, canoe I, I am really excited about it and I I can't wait to see uh, what they do next now talking about another company um, an electric vehicle company that's not looking so good currently is lucid lucid uh, Rawlings had an interview on CNBC and I'm gonna tell you he did not look very uh, promising on production numbers it was a difficult interview to watch and he kept getting called out about uh, what they could expect for next year as far as production numbers and he wasn't looking very optimistic. So take that for what it's worth, but. Right, Peter, start a production, but are you on track for 20,000 vehicles in 2022? We're on very much on track for our plan. Uh, we, we're aiming for over 577 vehicles this year and um, a, a significant increase throughout next year as, as we grow the business. 
Okay, but you won't repeat that 20,000 number. I'm, I'm noticing, Peter, are there some hesitations around that? Is there any reason to think that you might not be able to hit that number that you laid out? I'm very optimistic about our future potential for manufacturing. We're, are we going to start production this year in the second half? Uh, we predict Another company that is uh, making the news is Fisker. Fisker and I guess Foxconn have emerged and they're going to have like a 50-50 partnership in the plant and operating uh, and development of these vehicles, their vehicles. So that's another one that's, again, projected out for a couple years, but I hope they make it to market. This I'm not as confident of. Fisker has not had a great track record in the past, and now they're you know, teaming up with another company. Again, best of luck. But, you know, if you are a fan of Fisker, let me know what you think uh, the likelihood of them coming out with another vehicle is. Moving on to Tesla. Oh my goodness. There are so many exciting things going on with Tesla right now. Um, first is that uh, their truck, Cybertruck, some reservation holders are getting emails or being reached out to essentially actually getting told that hey you know congratulations that you may be getting uh more information at the end of this year about your cyber truck that you could potentially be taking delivery of it at the end of 2021 Fingers crossed. I, I hope that happens because I can't wait to see that vehicle being delivered. That's going to be crazy. I, I'm so excited for the Cybertruck. So that's it. Elon confirmed that the 4680 cells are going to be put in the new Model Ys that are produced from the Texas factory. If that happens, I'm probably going to try to get a new Model Y because that's going to be more power more range or maybe it's the opposite they're going to scale the uh, battery size down so the vehicle is lighter but they would still probably have a little more range and just as much power either way the vehicle is going to be more efficient and again I can't wait to see if what the numbers are going to be for a performance model Y with the new battery pack and what the range could potentially be you know so Again, Texas, let's get up and running and get those vehicles out. Now in Giga Berlin, I guess they're kind of targeting Model Ys to be a different type of vehicle in the sense that they want to have, I mean, I guess German engineering in the Tesla Model Y as far as fit and finish. Elon says down to the Micron. Can you imagine really any Tesla? fit and finish being down to the micron I hope it's true because again that's going to change the game for Tesla I mean really yeah because that's one of the biggest things we complain about right is fit and finish so if it's German quality in a Tesla Model Y 3 or whatever that that's really going to change the game you know so fingers crossed let's see what happens now the Model S the Tesla Model S Plaid. I know that there's a lot of news filtering out there about the yoke steering wheel and the new ridges on them, but I'm just blown away with the stats. Driver uh, te Drive Tesla Canada reported a couple of weeks or about a week ago um, about seeing a Tesla Plaid. I believe it was a Tesla Plaid, regular Plaid, out at the test track drag strip. It recorded a quarter mile time of 9.23 going through the traps at 152 miles an hour. That is insane. That is absolutely just blistering fast. I cannot wait to feel that vehicle. I just cannot believe that that car is going to be that quick. And that's just the plaid. And then of course, all the uh, test track uh, stuff that's coming out. It's running around um, Laguna Seca. Now, I don't know if this is the Model S or the, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know if it's the Plaid or the Plaid Plus, but it's going around the track at an unofficial 1.29, 1.29. 1 
1 minute and 29 seconds and some change. If that's accurate, I mean, that is supercar performance. Uh, that's supercar beating performance. That is just insane. So between these two things coming out, the quarter mile times as well as around Laguna Seca, this vehicle, the Model S Plaid, is going to just absolutely dominate. This thing is just crazy, especially for the price point. I'm really excited. I can't wait to see these things out there and I can't wait to see people testing them out at the track and at the, you know, drag strips. What a crazy time to be an electric vehicle enthusiast because again, you're going to have all kinds of bragging rights that the electric vehicle is just dominating cars, gas cars. You know, this is so crazy. So, at any rate, I wanted to keep this short. And again, just a reminder, if you're still interested in uh, the pedestrian warning system, I'm going to have that done, I think, um, the beginning of next week. So come back for that. And as always, please go to your car meets, have fun with your mods, and really enjoy what you currently have because make the most of it. All right. Thank you. And again, we'll see you on the next video.